Hello and welcome to the SAP Basis. I am Mohammad Faizan and today we are going to learn that how to enable TLS 1.2 in ABAP based SAP systems. So let's start. I choose the system. Uh, here you can see it's a PB1 system. Uh, so I will enable TLS 1.2 in this system. So to enable the TLS or the transport layer security, uh, there are uh, two parameters that we need to configure in RZ10. So I'll type RZ10 here. And in uh, profile parameters, I will select the profile first and then I'll configure the parameters. Here uh, you can see two profiles. Uh, one is the instance profile and other is the message server profile. So here uh, I'll select the main profile, instance profile. And then change. So I can quickly copy uh, the parameters from another system. Uh, so I have already opened it here. Go here. Uh, let's open this profile in display mode so that by mistake we do not change the parameters here in this system. So here you can see uh, these two parameter SSL slash cipher suits and the other parameter is SSL slash client underscore cipher suits. So I'll copy the parameter and the parameter values from the system. So I have selected this control C and I'll go here in the parameter. Copy button. Copy button again. So here you can see that the parameter is created and here you will see uh, which by which user uh, the parameter is created uh, and uh, you can also see the date and time. So I'll go back and uh, then I'll also go to the other system and I'll copy that other parameter. So let me copy it from here, this parameter, control C. And I'll again go to the parameter. I'll paste the parameter. I'll have to copy the value of this parameter. Paste and then copy. In copy. Now you can see. Uh, that I have copied uh, both of the parameters that are required to enable TLS 1.2. So here you can also see the parameters. Now uh, I'll button. I will go back and here I will select the save button. No. And here, do you want to activate the profile? Yes. Is the procedure? Press no. So this is the procedure uh, to enable TLS 1.2 in SAP ABAP based system. So after you configure the parameters in RZ10, so a restart is required. So after the restart, the changes may take effect. So thank you very much for watching the video. Bye bye.